up, guys? My name is Dusty Fusain, and today I'm kind of sick. <laughs> so I don't know if you guys can tell, but my voice is quite a bit deeper right now. I kind of sound like uh, I'm Patrick T, but with a shot of helium. Now, to be honest, I'm not much of a gamer, and I've traditionally not played a lot of games. I have the Xbox One S, but I only played games like COD or FIFA, and that too only when I was playing with friends. But growing up, pretty much the only games I would ever play solo was if it was a Nintendo game. And that's, I don't know why, maybe my parents were super strict and they only allowed Nintendo games. I don't know what it was, but I only grew up playing Nintendo games. That being said, when the Nintendo Switch came out for pre-order, coincidentally I had to get something for my sister around that same time, so I pre-ordered the Nintendo Switch for her for me, and I've been playing on and off here and there. Now, recently I picked it up again because one of my favorite games growing up called Fire Emblem just came out with a new version, so I've been playing that a little bit. So, in my experience, these are the best Nintendo Switch accessories that I personally use pretty much on a day-to-day -day basis whenever I'm playing. I'm gonna be leaving all the things that I discuss in the description down below, so if you're interested, make sure you guys go ahead and click on those and check those out for yourself. All right, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna be talking about is the case that I use for the Nintendo Switch, and that is called the City Slicker from Waterfield. Now, if you're looking for an ultra premium case, this is the case to get. Like, it comes with this really nice cowhide leather right on the top, um, and it just feels and looks absolutely phenomenal. I actually saw this case on IG, it was in an ad, and I was like, holy crap, I need this thing. This thing looks so high quality, it looks so awesome. So I was like, I need this for my Switch. So I reached out to Waterfield and they were kind enough to send one over for me to check out. Now it comes with several pockets for you to store different things such as the actual Nintendo Switch with the Joy-Cons attached. It also has several pockets here. It also has a pocket behind the Switch and a pocket in front of the Switch. And it also gives you space to put in up to five games so you can carry up to five games with you. And it has this magnetic closure to it. Oh, oh man, yeah. Yeah, here's some ASMR for you guys. Oh man, I love I love magnets. I, what can I say? I love magnets. And then there's also a pouch at the back for you to store anything else, any other accessories that you want to carry, some of which I'll be talking to you guys about. So that is the case of choice for me. This thing protects the Nintendo Switch and it looks damn good doing so. So I carry my Nintendo Switch around in this guy and I just throw it into my backpack or just carry it with me wherever I go. That's number one. The next accessory I wanna talk about fixes one of the crucial problems with the Nintendo Switch since launch, and that is a lack of Bluetooth. Now, a lot of us ever since phones started eliminating the headphone jack don't really carry around wired headphones, so a lot of us use AirPods or other Bluetooth headphones. Now, initially, if we wanted to use this with the Nintendo Switch, we couldn't because it didn't have Bluetooth. So there's one thing that helps solve that, and that is the home spot. Now this thing is awesome and it's an absolute must if you have the Nintendo Switch simply because it allows you to pair Bluetooth headphones to your Nintendo Switch. Now this Bluetooth transmitter is super cool because it is made exclusively for the Nintendo Switch and the way it fits into the Nintendo Switch, it's just seamless. It just has a very small protrusion from the bottom. However, you don't really notice it as much and it doesn't really bother me that much. I've tried a few others, however, they stuck out a little bit more and it just wasn't the same. Now keep in mind this thing is just plug and play so you don't need to ha charge this separately you just plug it into the Nintendo Switch and it doesn't draw too much battery from it so you're able to just plug and play and just use it and you can pair up to two Bluetooth headphones with this guy. You just press the button and you pair your Bluetooth headphone. So let's say you're playing with two people on the go then you're able to pair both your headphones to this guy so this really is a key piece of equipment that you can travel with, with for the Nintendo Switch. So next up are AirPods. Now these guys honestly are my go-to headphones for anything and everything because they pair without any effort to the last product we discussed which was the HomeSpot Bluetooth adapter. You just put in your AirPods in your ears and you just press the button on the HomeSpot Bluetooth adapter and lo and behold your headphones are connected and you're good to go. And I really like carrying the AirPods along with the Switch because they're just so easy to just throw into a pocket and just take it with you um, and you can can pretty much use it with any device and it's, it's just such a small clean package. Next up are the Joy-Con controller grips from Fastnail. Now these things are awesome like I've tried a few different ones but however these were the best in my opinion and simply because they feel the best. 
Even their ad here says, touch is the best. So <laughs> these guys feel awesome and they're super easy to throw around or carry around. They're really light. Basically how they work is you take the Joy-Con out and you can just throw it into this controller and now you got yourself a separate controller uh, to play games like for example Mario Kart. So let's say you and your significant other or friend are outside and you both want to throw in these controllers and play with each other, you can throw that in this and it's just so much easier to game with and you have access to your um, SL and SR, you have access to the joystick and the actual buttons and it just feels so much better in your hand uh, and it's a lot more playable that way. So these things Things are cheap and they feel awesome. This is the brand that I would highly recommend getting and uh, you won't go wrong with that. Next up, while we're on the topic of controllers, I gotta say, these two controllers are an absolute must. Um, I'm sure you guys have already heard of them, but basically one is the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller. Now, I pretty much use these exclusively when I'm playing at home and I'm not playing Super Smash, then these are my controllers uh, that I love using. They have pretty long-lasting battery life and um, the controls, everything, it just feels really good in your hand. And this is the best Pro Controller, in my opinion, you can get for the Nintendo Switch. And the other controller that you can also use with several other games is this GameCube controller that comes for the Nintendo Switch. Now this thing works really well as well, especially for Super Smash if you're used to Super Smash and the way the button layout is, um, it just makes playing Smash quite a bit easier. It's made by a company called Power A and it's called the Wireless Nintendo Switch GameCube controller. And next up is a micro SD card and these things are pretty key, especially now that you download games onto your Switch or even some games require you to save on your Nintendo Switch and you could run out of space quite quickly. And that's why my choice of micro SD card is the Samsung Evo 128 GB. Now this thing has been treating me pretty well and it's more than enough to handle your Nintendo Switch needs. That was a quick one. Okay, I gotta go get that. <laughs> the next accessory that I've been using quite a bit, especially when I'm at home, is a Skull & Co grip. Now this thing actually makes quite a big difference. It gives you grips at the back that are interchangeable so you have several different grips that you can use and your fingers just wrap around it. It makes it so much easier when you're using this in handheld mode and honestly, it's a no-brainer for anybody that has a Switch because this thing is just, it's just made really well and it just f does what it needs to do so well. It also protects the back of your Nintendo Switch so if you're putting it down or anything or even if it falls then the grips will take the brunt of that fall. And the next product that I want to discuss is also from the same company. They're called Skull & Co Thumb Grips and these things are awesome. Um, I have them on my actual Nintendo Switch and there's three different ones to choose from and I put them right onto the actual thumbsticks and it just gives you added grip. Also saves the longevity of the actual thumb grips from Nintendo um, and it just, it just feels better uh, when you're playing with these guys. So. Yeah, they're relatively cheap, so I'd recommend that you guys grab a pair, throw them on there, and there have several different ones, like I said, so that you may find something that works better for you. And last but not least is the Nintendo Switch charging stand. And this thing is pretty awesome because it has such a low profile, and you're able to just throw it into your bag or your pouch and carry it around with you wherever you go. And you're able to basically put your Nintendo Switch onto here, and you can angle it in many different ways. Now, I know majority of the people absolutely hate like detest, like it's it's disgusting, the Nintendo Switch kickstand that's incorporated into the system. So this thing actually helps with that a lot as well because you have several different angles that you can lean the Nintendo Switch on so that you can take it with you. And let's say if you're playing uh, outside or something like that, you can just dock it onto there. And it also gives you USB-C pass-through so that if you're wanting to charge it while you're having it on the stand, you're able to plug in the AC adapter or the charger and basically charge your Switch as well while you're playing on stand so this thing is super neat and something that I highly recommend carrying with you all right guys that was it from me today now I'm a little bit sick so I really struggled to put this video out so if you appreciate that and you think that you know what to see if you're a soldier for doing this then make sure you guys go ahead and crush that like button down below and if you like content around tech gadgets filmmaking and lifestyle then make sure you guys go ahead and smash that subscribe button down below now all these accessories that I talked about are in the description down below so if you'd love to support the channel and if you want to check some of these guys out make sure you guys go ahead and click that link and get yourself hooked up with some of this gear now that being said i hope to see you guys on a weekly basis and i will see you guys on the next one peace that look weird with my hair it's fine
it looks hipster, it's messy. So wife and I are looking for a spot to shoot some B-roll. I wanted to do it like an after darks, after darks, after darks. dark shot. Darks, darks. There's a spark here. Have your oh no, the fuel is low. Can you guys see that? No way, it's not focusing. Ooh, beautiful. Recording? Yeah. Eight second Hamza. You can see Hamza. Hey Hamza. Where's my girl? Go check where Maya. Okay, so basic. Whoa. Okay. There's like there's there's like this huge creature in the room. Oh my goodness! I gotta show you guys this. I'm gonna go from a safe distance and I'll and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking. Yo, legit, this thing is hiding. Oh my god, it's inside there. Do you see it? Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's a moth. Okay, I'm okay with that. Hit that notification bell. Ding, ding, dong. Why'd I do that? <laughs>